Hey everybody, Dieter with The Verge here, and you're probably seeing a bunch of reviews for the BlackBerry Pro, but ours isn't quite ready yet because our first unit was actually defective. But we have a new one here, and it seems pretty good, so I just wanted to walk through seven quick things that I know and actually love about the BlackBerry Pro. So the first thing is that it is the first BlackBerry device running full Android. It is straight Android, it's Android 5.1 Lollipop, and it has some BlackBerry customizations on top. Uh, the second thing to know, and probably the most important thing, is that it's a BlackBerry, so it has a physical keyboard. And the physical keyboard is pretty good as physical keyboards go. Uh, yes, you can type faster on a touch screen, but a physical, physical keyboard lets you get, see the whole screen when you're typing, which is really a nice advantage. Really quick about the hardware, I think it's really good. It's a 5.4 inch screen. Uh, it's actually curved around the sides. Uh, and the back is really grippy when there's this 18 megapixel camera here. It's really grippy so you can hold on to it and like, I mean, look at that. I mean, come on. Come on. Um, okay, so the keyboard. Let's talk about that a little bit. So we're gonna jump into a uh, compose message here in the hub. And one of the things you can do is you can swipe up to just auto-complete letters. And it's a little bit tricky, so it doesn't always work, but you can swipe down to just get symbols. And then my favorite thing is you can double tap on it and then you move into cursor mode and you can just slide your finger around the keyboard to move the cursor, which is really convenient. And now BlackBerry's added a bunch of software customizations on top of Android, but they're really not that bad. They're actually pretty good. So it's secure. There's a security out of piece of software called DTEC, which tells you what is going good and bad with your device. Uh, you can also swipe up from the home button to get three shortcuts, Google Now, BlackBerry Hub, actually whatever you want. And the BlackBerry Hub itself is like a lot of good ideas. It takes all of your incoming email and tweets and some Facebook stuff and BBM and puts it in one giant bucket and you can set all kinds of crazy filters to do stuff in it. Really good idea, although it's a little bit too much noise for me. As far as specs go, uh, it has a Qualcomm 808 processor, three gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of storage, and it's expandable storage. And the camera is an 18 megapixel camera, which is actually pretty good, even in low light. Although I will say it's pretty slow. So the last thing about the Priv is it is short for the privilege of privacy, which is about the corniest thing I've ever heard anybody say about a phone. Uh, it is $699, which is pretty expensive. And in the US, it's available on AT&T. We will have a full review of this thing very soon.